Hey everybody, Paul here back with Guacamele. Um, so, uh, let's get started with this already. If you guys didn't notice, um, I did not upload a second video on Friday. Um, I was really busy and did not really have much time to record another video. So I'm sorry about that, but oh well. We're still going to have this video, which is still a cool video. Right. So, pretty much all we're doing here um, is just going around and seeing what there is in this world. And we can't use a lot of the moves that we could have yet because we haven't unlocked them yet. <laughs> but we're going to get into one of the things that we find a lot are little fighting areas where we have to destroy all the enemies. And we usually get little prizes for them. Let's just destroy these guys. Pretty easy. Let's get rid of the red guys first, just because they're the most annoying. And maybe if I want to jump higher for some reason. And then we can get rid of the green guys. And we should get a piñata that comes with a silver which we use to get the different costumes. And let's just jump, 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 jump. And uh, let's just keep going. We'll get some stuff later. And we can go through all those. Still can't do much of anything yet. But I'm pretty sure we'll be able to soon. Ooh, what's in here? Nothing yet. Crazy luchador! Why you gotta go and break my Chuzo statue? My caramba! Man, I've only got like 15 of those things left. Typical luchador. Punch first and ask questions never. Behold! I am the great Uya Uai Chivo, Lord of all the man goats, warrior trainer extraordinaire, and king of awkward punishments. Now, before we begin, tell me, is your mother single? Does she have a type? Does she like bad boys? <laughs> okay then, explain to me how you got here, and don't skimp out on anything, especially on how you got that mask. Kalaka, the temple, the president's daughter, and Hagwar Javier, my former student? I'll just have to ask your mother out after we save the world. First, we must train you in the arts of a true luchador. The statue you just broke contained a magical power, the rooster uppercut. Press up plus A to perform this powerful move. This move can break red blocks and it can even be performed in the air. But be careful, if you use it too much, you'll tire yourself out for a while. You work on that move, kiddo. If it doesn't kill you, you will be continue your training next time we meet. Rooster Uppercut! So yeah, now we can do the Rooster Uppercut. Which is actually a lot of fun to do. Um, but yeah. So this is a new move that we just got. So all these red blocks that we find now, we can break. And we can actually almost double jump. Almost. But, uh, so yeah. Uh, if you guys didn't notice, the little statue that we had to break was very reminiscent of another game. Um, which is Metroid. <laughs> and how you had to, like get stuff from those different little things to get different weapons and things like that. So we can't go that way yet. So let's go back and just go up the stairs, I guess. Hmm. We can do that. Then we can... Ba bam 
Uh, let's wait a second for it to charge up. So bam. And we'll boom. Oops, I almost messed that up entirely. But who cares? So yeah, I, th I thought this was a f would be a fun game to uh, do. But yeah, you know. These are new enemies. I do not know what they're called. Nor do I know what any of the enemies in this game are called because I don't know. I've never researched or anything. But yeah. Uh, who knows? I might. If I will, the names are gonna. Probably the names of the different creatures are gonna show up on the screen right about now. If not, I'm sorry. <laughs> and. Well, bam! Oh. He cheated, he got it out of the way. It wasn't my fault. But yeah, we get some really cool attacks later on and like abilities that come in a lot of handy later on. Oh, really? Okay, we have to wait for it to charge up. There we go. I don't need anything right now. Uh oh. What are we gonna do? Yeah, like I said, these guys are probably the easiest. The green ones. Uh, whatever they're called. I might look them up, like I said. Uh, who knows? I guess you'll know when you watch this video. Oh god, there's so many. But luckily, I can throw them and it takes down some of their health for others. That was not very coherent. That was not... A very coherent sentence, but whatever. Because I win. Yeah! I got a silver. Santa Luchita! Ah! Skeletons just come, came running through town getting some girl! They took her to the top of the town and ran off towards the Temple of the West. This Dia de los Muertos, the dead have truly risen. I'm going to hide in the forest. It's safe there, right? No, not at all. Oh yeah, welcome to Santa Lucha. You, la you look like you can handle yourself, Luchador. The people of town could really use your help. Don't be shy. A hero. Uh, you're a hero. It's what you do. Right? No, that's not what I do at all. Honestly, I, I'm just here for myself. Anyone in here? Ooh, look at all this luchador stuff. This guy looks like he's a fan of luchadors. Player Uno. Viva Piñatas. Ooh, we got a piñata. <laughs> Angry Rooster. Awesome sauce. I thought that was like some enemy coming after me. Like, oh god, no. You can kill chicks. What all? Hmm, where can I go? I don't really want to talk to you. Ooh, what does he want? Our compañero de banda has gone missing. Señor, you must help us find him, por favor. Uh don't know where he is, but oh well. Uh, -oh, where can we go? Oh, is that him? Perdón, señor, but we cannot play any music for you until our brand is whole again. Okay, so he's just the same. Like, oh god. <coughs> wow, wow, wow. Where do you think you're going? You're trying to get yourself killed? You must seek out the great, noble, handsome, benevolent, wise, irresistible snake slaying combo chicken. He's back in the town. He can show you the skills you need to enter the temple. Okay. Wait, wait. Is that... Okay, I don't get who that is. But okay. If you guys know, tell me in the comments. Oh god, there's so many chickens. Flame face. 
And what's in here? Some tequila? Oh, I can't go down there. Technically, I guess you're gonna have to go up. Oh, God, really? No. Okay, let's see where else we can go. Uh, no. Okay. Where do we? Oh, combo chicken. I am the great combo chicken. Welcome to my dojo. If you expect to take on Kalaka and the forces of evil, you have much to learn. Forgot? Let's start with our basic three-hit combo. Poncho. 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 Say hello to the luchador. <laughs> what? Yes, yes. You'll be paid once the demonstration is over. Okay, go for it. Okay. So we have to beat Pancho. We have to do the three hit combo. Not bad, not bad. Your basic three hit combo can be performed in the air. Take it away, Pancho. <laughs> How's it, okay. This one's Nyango hits like a pussy. Now get to work. Yeah. By pressing up and Y, you uh, will perform the luchador lift. This allows you to continue your combo in the air. Easy enough. Press up and A will perform the rooster uppercut, carrying you into the air with your enemy. Wrong way. <laughs> Dang. Now combine the luchador lift and the uppercut into one devastating combo. So that, 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 that. Easy. Excellent. Now, wasn't that easy? <laughs> Birds? Flying around the room? How dare you mock my inability to fly? After all I've done for you, get out of my sight! Don't worry about him. Talk about the drama queen. It looks like you're ready to face the challenges ahead. Kalaka's gang has headed for the temple. People overheard them talking about some dark ceremony. You'd better get going if you plan to stop them. Oh, and come talk to me again sometime for additional training, if you're not too chicken, that is. Uh, yeah, we'll come back to him later sometime. For a little bit extra training later. Oh, uh, that kind of hurt my voice a little bit, though. Oh, yeah, see, look. The one and only El Hero. It's supposed to be Link. Uh, and then Los Casa Crashers. Castle Crashers. Okay, so... Yeah, so yeah, let's just get over there now, to the temple. It's right, little chicken. I'm just an inanimate object. Little bit closer. Mmm, that corn on the ground looks yummy. scared him off. What are you looking at? Sorry, I wasn't always such a mean Almec head. I used to have my Almec brothers, but they have been spread across the world. If you find any of them, they can teleport you back to me. Good to know. It makes it a little bit easier to get around. Gee, I wonder why this is called the Temple of Rain. It must be because it's so sunny. Obviously. <laughs> whoa, 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 hold up. Are you going into the temple? I was just in there, and trust me, you don't want to any part of that. Creatures have been appearing out of thin air. And I swear, I cut glimpses of the world of the dead. I barely made that out alive. Also, just as I was leaving, the temple sealed itself shut. So I know, I don't know how you plan on getting in there anyway. Uh, duh. 
like this and jump into the portal. It's open! Yeah, so this is another mechanic of the game, uh, two different dimensions, uh, which it gets confusing, especially later on. You'll see why. Like, there's certain things you get to use with the dimensions and stuff like that, like how some enemies appear depending on the dimensions. Oh my, who do we have here? Is this the husky luchador I've heard Hagwad Javier speak of? Seems like he skipped out on the best parts. Ha 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 ha! Ah, Luchador, loosen up. I suppose you're looking for Kalaka. He's off with Flame Face and that girl preparing for a ceremony. Maybe instead of chasing after them, you and I could have a bit of fun. No effect. Well, if we meet again, maybe it'll be worth my attention. But right now, Kalaka's pet, Ale Brihe, calls to me. He is lonely and in need of some. Seriously. Heavy. Petting. <laughs> <laughs> Double entendres. I look, sis, and whatever that word is, I don't know what it is, but yes, we have a guest. Please come, please make him comfortable. Oh god, giant, giant, there are tiny little creatures that are creepy. More tiny giant creatures. Why am I saying giant? Tiny little creatures that are creepy. And are there going to be more? God, there's so many. Oh God, no! Ah! Jeez, they're all spinning. I didn't know Sonic was in this game. Bunch of tiny Sonics. I mean, what's worse than that? Actually, nothing, because Sonic's actually pretty cool. <laughs> I'm probably actually going to be doing a Let's Play of uh, the new one coming out, the uh, Rise of Lyric. So yes, now we have to do puzzles that deal with those things. Let's see what's in here. Nothing I can do yet, I don't think. Actually, yes, I can. I can show off some of these little things. And get a piece of skull! Which, um, if you, once you collect skulls, you get to uh, make your meter go up higher and make it so you can do more attacks with uh, NSYNC. Okay. Jump, jump, jump. Jump. So there's two doors. Let's go through this one first. Okay, really? Really? Yeah, what now? What now? What now? Huh? Oh, I guess that now. Okay, let's bash him to the ground. Okay, I guess I have to... Let's wait a second. Okay, wait another second. Okay. Let's go this way. Oh god. Okay, um, what I want to do is do this and get rid of this guy first, since he's probably the one that's going to annoy me the most. Oh god. <laughs> More Sonics. There we go. Oh no, not little guys. Not little tiny midget men that are somehow large as well that I've been saying. What I feel is unfair is how they can hit me even if they're in the other dimension. But I can't hit them. I don't know, that just strikes me as not being too fair. 
Okay, come on, Sonic. Let me hit you. Bam! And... Yay! Oh, cool, we got a little chest. And it looks like it's going to be another piece of skull. You got a piece of skull! Doesn't really roll off the tongue. Oh well. So this one, what we pretty much have to do is just go back and forth until they're all dead. And last one, they all blow up in the fire. Yay! Oh. Oh. Yeah, I forgot this one has, like, stuff that isn't actually it. So they're all heart ones, but I think only one of them is actually a heart. Which is that one. But I'll destroy the other ones, too, just to get some coins. Because I like coins. They're fun. One thing I do really like about this game is how... Pretty, uh, I guess no, you can't. It, it is linear in a sense, but it's not at the same time because, like, you can pretty much go almost anywhere you want, but you have to have like certain um, stuff. Oh god, certain moves to get through certain areas. So that's the part where it doesn't work as well, and where it is linear. So yeah, but other than that, it feels like it's an open world almost, and it's more like an open 2D world. Oh god. And this is our first mini boss fight, which is not going to be our last either, and definitely oh god, not going to be the hardest. What? Damn it. Let's do it again. So let's get away from that, then punch him up a lot. Let's get out of his way, let him punch a little bit more, and there. Easy. Annoying, but easy. Ooh, we got a new thing from Metroid. Wait, no, it's not Metroid. Seriously, stop breaking my stuff! Seriously! Whatever, time to teach you the Olmec's headbutt! It's easy cheesy, press A while standing still to send those e Esqueletos sky high! Olmec's headbutt! Now get going before I find your mother! Now, honestly, I find this one to be the most useless of the um, moves that you get, just because I never use it. <laughs> I tend to use uh, other moves more. Okay, so let's go through here, and you know what? I think we're going to end it here. And you know, I hope you guys had a fun time watching because I had a fun time playing. See you next time, guys. Bye.